everybody and welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today we are going to cover how to transfer an image to your rock. So stay tuned. So before we get started, I just want to cover the idea of tracing and uh, there's going to be people out there that are going to say that tracing an image is like cheating. And I'm, gonna, I'm here to tell you it is not. Even the masters back in the day used devices to help them trace their subject. So tracing is actually a really good way to learn how to draw. Now, if your claim to fame is you're a sketch artist, then tracing would be kind of cheating. But we're painting, so therefore getting our image transferred through tracing is not cheating at all. So with that being said, let's get started. So I found a picture that I wanted to trace over on Pinterest. It's called Dreamer. I thought this would be an easy one to show you. So I, I just saved the image to my hard drive. And then I've opened up paint, I've got a Photoshop, but you could use any kind of photo manipulation tool. All you need is one that you can resize the photo. So now that we have the photo in Photoshop where we can resize it, we're going to take a piece of tracing paper and I'm just gonna take and make a line around my rock. This is gonna give me the size I need the image. So I'm kind of just sketching around the rock to get an idea of the size and shape. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. My hands are all in the way. But there, there's the size I need the image. So now I'm back in Photoshop. Like I said, you can use any photo manipulation software. And I'm taking the traced image the the rock shape and I'm putting it over the dreamer image and it was still too big so now I'm resizing it now it's too small so over on the left hand corner you can actually type in the number that you want so that's what I'm doing I'm I don't know how your software is going to work that's how Photoshop works you can either uh, do big increments or small. So now I've got it about the size that I want for the rock. And now we're going to take a piece of tape and tape the tracing paper onto my screen. And I'm just making sure it's centered in the area that I had drawn off for the rock and now I'm just going to go in and trace the whole image. So I'm just going to speed us through this process. Get this quickly traced out. And there we go. We're done. Just peel it off the monitor. Now I've painted my rock black and I originally recorded this with with uh, with sound and it had such a bad echo I'm now doing a voiceover on it. So I'm taking my uh, transfer image traced image sorry my traced image and I'm taping it down to my table over my rock and now I'm going to take some transfer paper which I use the Serral wax feet wax free transfer paper in white and I, you can say I've used this transfer paper over and over and over again. In order to tell which side goes against the rock, drag your nail across it. If it turns your nail white, 
then that's the side that goes down on the rock. So I'm just going to put my paper, this is the transfer paper, down on the rock. And I'm going to actually end up moving it down to a cleaner spot. There we go. And you don't want to put pressure on the transfer paper against the rock because the rock's so textured, it's going to scratch off the white all over your rock. So you want to be really gentle. So I'm kind of putting the paper down and then I'm going to put pressure right here with my left finger. And that's going to be the only spot that I put pressure on the whole drawing. I It looks like my finger is pressing down. It's actually not. It's pushing down on the paper, but it's not touching the rock. And now I'm just going to trace the design again. And I'm going to fast forward us through this process again. So now I'm done and there's my design and even though we're really careful some of the the white transferred onto the rock in areas that I didn't need. You can see where I had my finger put pressure on it. So I'm taking a wet paintbrush just wet with water and I'm just kind of cleaning up where I don't need white. So now that I have the rock kind of cleaned up a little bit, I'm actually going to go over, and this part's optional, I'm going to go over it with a General's Charcoal White Pencil, and I'm going to tighten up my details. When I traced it, I just traced out the letters thin in a thin line, but in the actual design, the letters had some thickness to them, so now I'm going to go in and add that thickness to the design. So if there's anything you want to edit with your design using a charcoal pencil uh, is a really good way to do that because it also washes off with water and dissolves into your paint. So it's a, it's a good tool to use. And there you go. Now you're ready to paint your rock. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and share this with anybody you think that would benefit from seeing this video. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next one.